The 3D bubble cursor is a well-known selection technique. Users control a semi-transparent bubble by mapping the hand's position to the bubble's position. It allows users to efficiently select targets by dynamically resizing the volume selection to contain the closest target. But the technique is sensitive to nearby distractors, and it can be quite frustrating in dense environments since even small movements can create incessant disturbing effect with the technique constantly snapping to nearby targets. To prevent this negative effect, we propose to include multiple targets in the volume selection with multi-finger bubble. Targets are associated with a specific finger, and users can select the desired target by flexing the corresponding finger. We experimentally explored options of multi-finger bubble. We use a Vive Pro system with a marker attached to Manus Prime 2 haptic gloves to track hand and finger movements. We explored two visualizations to reveal the mapping between targets and fingers to users, colored lines and colored icons. Colored lines start from the fingertips and end on the targets and colored icons are positioned above the corresponding targets and display a hand image with a corresponding finger filled with a corresponding color. We consider two finger target mapping options, following the finger's direction or stable. With the finger mapping option, colors are assigned according to the horizontal ordering of targets to coincide with the finger's ordering from index to pinky with this right-handed user. While this intuitive mapping can help users to quickly determine the associated finger to validate a selection, it can create last second changes of colors. Indeed, in the event of a target ex exiting and a new one entering the volume, every target has to update their mapping. We hence explore another option with the opposite properties, without clear mapping rationale, but reducing the risks of last second color changes. If a target exits the volume and a new one enters, only the impacted color, and hence the finger assignment, switches target. Finally, we explore how many targets should be included in the volume selection, so how many fingers should be involved with multi-finger bubble. A design experiment reveals that multi-finger bubble is best used with three fingers, and with lines displaying the stable mapping between targets and fingers.